All right, so this is Algebra 1. We are on Lesson 0-12. So multiplying and dividing fractions. Again, we're going really fast today, so let's talk about multiplying. When I multiply, I multiply straight through. So if I have a number like, I'm just going to do an example here in black. So example 1. So if I have 3 fourths, and I'm going to multiply that, this little dot means multiply. And I'm going to multiply this by 2 sevenths. I multiply straight through. By straight through, I mean I multiply the tops, 3 times 2. I guess I, yeah, just 3 times 2. And I get 6. 4 times 7, shout it out, 28. I multiply the bottoms. And then from there, I reduce. Quite raised hand. Who can reduce 6 over 28 to its simplest form? Quite raised hand. Who can simplify 6 over 28 for XP? I see one hand. I see some pen pencils still writing. That means you're, you don't even have time to think yet. I'm going to wait for more hands. I see two hands. I see, I see three hands. Gunner. Yep. 3 over 14. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Do you agree with Gunner's answer? I also agree with Gunner's answer. So let's go back over here and go to class so everything is alphabetical. Come on. There you go. Gunner, 50 XP. Perfect. All right. So then we have the second example, which is harder. Um, let me back up and talk about what happens when you have mixed numbers. Mixed numbers. So if I have my second example, don't know what's going on there. Example two. So if I have two and five sevenths, I call this a mixed number because I have an integer with a fraction. I want to convert this into an improper fraction. Um, let me do a quick poll. How comfortable are we all before I even teach this lesson? Fist of five, five is, I know how to make this into a mixed fraction. One is, I don't even know what a mixed fraction is. Please help me review. Interesting, pretty high scores. Let's do this really quick then. So, in order to turn this into a, an improper fraction, not a mixed fraction, an improper fraction where the top is bigger than the, the bottom, the numerator is bigger than the denominator, I'm going to multiply seven times two. So this green operation is multiply. And then once I do 7 times 2, I'm going to add that number to whatever 5 is. So this red line up here is going to be add. So multiply 7 times 2, add it to whatever 5 is. 7 times 2 is 14, plus 5 is 19. So I get this is equal to 19, and then you keep the same denominator, 7. That is how you turn a mixed number into an improper fraction. Whenever I give you a mixed number on Khan Academy, first turn it to an improper fraction and then do the operation. So in example three, let's try one and one third times two and three fourths. If you think you know how to do this, go ahead of me in the notes. If you are a little bit unsure, Think about this for 30 seconds, and then I'll catch up with you. Everyone should be thinking or doing work right now. OK, you had time to think? I'm going to, and you can keep on working and kind of ignore my notes. Just check the final answer when you get there. So I'm going to multiply 3 times 1 which is 3, and then that, add that 3 to the 1 to get 4, and I keep the same denominator, thirds. I copy down the sign in between. It's a multiply sign. And I need to turn this mixed number into an improper fraction. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. 11 fourths. And again, multiplication, I don't need like denominators. I just multiply straight through. 4 times 11 is 44, and 3 times 4 is 12. I'm almost done, and I guess I forgot to box my final answers up here. I should be doing that. 
we should all get in the habit of boxing our final answers. I'm not done here because this is not simplified. For every fraction in this class, always assume it needs to be simplified, even if it doesn't say so in the instructions. Always assume that for the rest of the year. I can divide the top and bottom by 4. If I divide the top by 4, I'm left with 11. If I divide the bottom by 4, I'm left with thirds. And you can leave it as an improper fraction. You don't need to turn it back into a mixed number. That's fine. All right, this is a perfect time to ask questions before we move on to slide two. This is half, we're halfway done with the notes. Dividing is the other half. Questions before we move on? All right, slide two. Dividing fractions. So, I'm gonna star this one. This is the rule that we've already talked about in our foldable, but this is the keep it, change it, flip it rule. Keep it, change it, flip it. How to apply this rule? We will look at another example. So we are on example four. If I have two fractions, so let's just make up something two sevenths divided by three fourteenths. I'm going to keep the first fraction the same, so this is going to be equal to, the first fraction stays the same, just copy down, two sevenths. And I know that I do go fast sometimes, so please do tell me when I'm going too fast. Like raise your hand and just say, Mr. Sindel, can you please slow down? But no one is saying that. So I'm going to continue on at this pace. I'm going to change it. I change this operation. It used to be a dividing sign. Now I'm going to change it to a multiplication sign. And then I'm going to flip it. I'm going to take this word that I want to see if we know. I'm going to take the what, quiet raised hand, if you know this word. It means flip it. Julian. <laughs> Flip it. <laughs> I take the, starts with an R. Reciprocal, yeah. So you got some help. I'll still give you the XP for it. You take the reciprocal, perfect. And if you want to write that on the side, flip it is the same thing as reciprocal. If you did not know this word reciprocal, I think I spelled that right, then do write that down in the sidebar. So I'm going to take the reciprocal. So it used to be 3 fourteenths, and now it becomes 14 thirds. And then it's just the same thing as our multiplication problem in our previous slide. You multiply straight through. 2 times 14, 28. The denominator, the bottom, 7 times 3, 21. I'm almost done. I know that I can simplify this even farther. The top and bottom are both divisible by something. I'm going to give you guys some time. Figure out the final reduced form of this fraction. Once you know the answer, raise your hand. I see one hand. I see two hands. I see three hands, four hands. I'm going to give some more time. Math is not about speed. Five hands, six hands. We'll go with Jennifer. Yep, divide the top and bottom by seven, right? And you get? Four over three. Thumbs up, thumbs down, agree or disagree. And let's box that final answer. Thank you, Jennifer. And our final example, this will end our notes. Example five. Example five is a mixed number division. It's the hardest type of problem I will be assigning on Khan Academy today. Um, after we finish example five, we do summaries and jump straight into Khan Academy. So let's do one and two-thirds divided by three and five-sixths. Again, if you know how to do this problem, go ahead of me in the notes. I know that most of us know how to do this. We know how to turn a mixed number into an improper fraction. 
I'll give you guys another 20 seconds for Head Start to think about this, start solving it on your own, and then you'll catch up with me in the notes. All right, you got your head start. I'm going to go through this. Please keep working on your problem and you can pay attention to see if you get the final answer and see where you went wrong. And I'm gonna keep using my voice for the sake of the video. Three times one is three and I add that to two. Three plus two is five, so it's gonna be five thirds. This is equal to five thirds. I copy down the division sign, divided by. Six times three, 18. 18 plus five, 23. 23 over 6. And please, as soon as I make an error, catch it. I would appreciate that. Sometimes I do my multiplication and addition too fast. All right, so now I've turned this example 5 into a type of problem like example 4, where I just have fractions, not um, mixed numbers, and I'm dividing. So keep it, change it, flip it. Keep it applies to the 5 thirds. Don't change that one. Change it and take the reciprocal, 6 over 23. Now I have a little bit hard um, multiplication, but I think I can do this. This is now going to be equal to 5 times 6 is 30. And then on the bottom, 3 times 23 is 69. All right. Quiet raised hand. How can I prove whether or not 69 is divisible by 3? Quiet raised hand, what is the trick? How can I figure out if 69 is divisible by three? I know that 30 is divisible by three, that's three times 10. Is 69 divisible by three and why? Only one person knows. Two people know, Jose. You get 15, therefore, yeah, 15 can be divided by 3, therefore 69 can be divided by 3. So I'm going to divide the top and bottom by 3. And I get 10 over, this is going to be 23. And multiples are 2 and 5. 23 is a prime number, so I'm done. There's my final answer. I box it. Questions before you write your summaries? No questions? So this is the procedure. Write your summary. Check with a partner and see if they have anything different about their summary to add to your summary. Once you check with a partner, start on Khan Academy.